Hey everyone, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, the word creator team, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the word creator bridge for Blender to transfer the word creator terrain over to Blender as is. Okay, again, please be aware, this is still an early access version of Word Creator. It means that it is still under development and uh, the release will be available until mid-August 2023. However, after a purchase, you get instant access to this new upcoming version 2. Okay, let's get started. So, I've created this terrain here and actually there's nothing more to do in Word Creator except clicking on the sync button above here. That's what I'm going to do. Um, Word Creator is now packaging everything up and exporting everything for us so that we can utilize the data inside Blender. Just to showcase you, the data is collected in the um, sync folder of Word Creator. So if you click that button, you get to the export folder. You just get back a little bit until you see the sync folder here. It's always located at the same location. It's the user, documents, world creator, and sync. And there you have the files that are really required to recreate the data in, in, uh, in the other applications, such as Blender. And the really important file is the bridge XML file, which has everything all sorted for us to make the bridge available and making the bridge uh, uh, and uh, giving the bridge the capability to reassemble the terrain in Blender. So before we go over to Blender, um, make sure that you're downloading the bridge for Blender. So for that, just go to our website, sign in and move to the download bridge button here. It's a drop down menu. Just select Blender bridge and then choose the Blender version you have. As you can see, we're supporting um, all available Blender versions um, um, through our website. So I'm using Blender 3.6. So I've downloaded this one here. Select the server you want, click on download, and there you go. So actually, I've done this already, so I'm not going to do that again. And now we're switching over to Blender. Um, I'm opening it right now. So here we are. And now what we need to do is uh, the very first thing is like going to edit, heading to preferences, then doing a fresh install for that uh, Blender bridge. I have downloaded it already and um, it, your download is actually uh, a, a zip archive. You need to extract it to get to the Blender uh, zip archive uh, inside. So uh, once you have extracted and copied it uh, to another place, just double click it to, to import it. Now that you have imported, you need to enable that one. And just to make sure, because uh, it's, if it's the first time using it and you have enabled it, you need to close Blender and restart Blender again so that the plugin really gets recognized. And now that you have done this, um, there is that small arrow here on the side. Click on it and the bridge should be here located, depending on what kind, what, what, what other kind of, uh, of uh, plugins you have installed. As you can see, um, again, it's very similar to the other bridges. Um, you have that XML path to the bridge file. Um, Blender automatically has it sorted out for you, so the location is always the same. Here you can name the object name, you can set the world scale, the height scale, you can uh, do some interpolation and other stuff here. And um, yeah, here you can select the rendering. So Cycles and Eevee is supported. We also support Octane. Um, for now, we just leave it as is here and just hit the synchronize button so it gets all the data that we that we that that we actually need. Now the terrain has been loaded for us. Here we go. Let's move it to the to the center of our screen. And yeah, actually that's it. Let's switch over to um, a coloring so you can see how the colors look like. And from that point, the terrain created in World Creator is now also available for you inside Blender. And if you do any changes inside World Creator, all you need to do is just to hit the sync button again. For example, I'm going to change the seed. Now I'm going to sync again. I'm switching now, as soon as done, back to Blender. And hit synchronize again. 
and the terrain has changed so we can continue our work. Okay, hope you enjoyed, hope you liked it. Um, as said, um, the Blender Bridge is already available. This version, upcoming version of WorldCrate is also already available after purchase and the release will be mid-August. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day, stay safe and bye bye.